so hi guys what's up and now we are just going to do uh, we are just going to see how to make the quill command in pro e yeah before that i have just downloaded the pro e crack question from one youtube video this link has been uh, given in the description you can if you want you can also just download yeah just go to mms part solid and go to the workspace now first we are going to design a pyramid so for that we have to go for blend command revision and then and again then oh sorry yeah, just um, insert blend retribution then then and I'm just going to select top plane and again okay default view so you'll be getting this one so from palette I'm gonna select a uh, hexagon yeah it's here uh, I'm just placing it in center and giving 70 as radius sorry side just going okay oh, close it and change for changing the section i meant for keeping a point or the toggle section for that let's right click button long press and just go to point keep a point here and your click mark yeah now it's asking for the slant height i'm just going to add center just okay and just preview it yeah it's a parameter just okay from default we control d Yes, now now we put the pyramid over here. So before going for quilt option, we are going to chamfer this surface. We have one important thing to be noted is we are going to round chamfer, not mid chamfer. So I'm going to chamfer the all surface. That's five. We do it. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Yeah. So we'll get a top like this make sure that you do this then now we are just going to select these surfaces let me do that first yeah now i just want to select all these surface yeah and we have to select these surfaces also for that we have to zoom in a bit yeah just press control don't forget to press the control button and again i'm gonna select this surface yeah this middle button must run again control and control d similarly i'm just gonna select all these surface leaving one surface middle button control control d yeah three more surfaces are left oh sorry Last, I just want surfaces. Mm. Yeah, over here, over here, and it's here. Yeah, we are done with it. Now, Control C, Control V for copying and pasting the surface over it. Yeah, now I copy paste the surface, and I'm just going to give a reference point over here and just give it OK. I'm going to insert advanced pattern quill and select this point you should be able to select this point like this if this should show the arrow mark just give it a tick mark and you can see the solid has opened since we are given the chamfer length as 5 you can see this semicircle part if we go to round 1 and go to edit definition and take this out as from 5 to 0 0.1 or something else you can get a clean surface.